Welcome to the ribbon cutting ceremony and party for the Elm Street Plaza performance space in Westfield, Massachusetts. This has been an empty lot for several decades after a fire destroyed the J.J. Newberry's department store in 1986. Several different plans were developed for this location, but none came to fruition. In 2023 Mayor Mike McCabe suggested that instead of looking to construct mixed-use buildings, that a public performance place be designed and built instead. Elm Street Plaza will be home to free concerts, food trucks, and other events. It looks like some folks are already getting ready to dance to the music of local band Whiskey Traveler, so let's get things going. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Come on now, come on over. We won't bite you. Maybe a little nibble. Welcome everybody, my name is Mike McCabe, I'm the mayor of this terrific city, and we are here today to celebrate the dedication of the Elm Street Plaza, that's a round of ovation. You guessed it, it is 37 years in the making, it'll be 38, it'll hit its anniversary on September 13th of 2024, so I'd like to thank some folks that were uh, certainly instrumental in all of the planning that went in before it. Um, everybody have a program or want have a program that needs a program or I see some programs are being given out. Uh, Peter, see the guy with the waving? He's like the deputy mayor. That's the guy that gets it done. He does all the work behind the scenes. It really has nothing to do with me. Peter Miller, thank you very much for everything that you do. This property was kind of given over to us from the Westfield Redevelopment Authority and Kathy Wittalitz is here from the Westfield Redevelopment Authority. She'll have a couple of words in a second. I'd also like to say something. There are a couple of dignitaries out there from what I'm told. Um, I'm hoping they're somewhere close together. They are. I see Don Nick. Thank you very much for that. In no special order, Ward, Ward 1 Counselor Karen Fannion, Ward 6 Counselor, I told you, there was no special order. This is the way they came. Ward 6, Councilor Billy Oniski. Cindy Harris at large. Ward 4, Councilor Mikey Burns. Nick Morganelli, formerly of Ward 1, back to the city at large. And last but not least, Ward Councilor of this ward, Bridget Matthews Kane. Also joining us tonight are Senator John Vilas and his protege. Where is Carson? There he is. I see him. And let us not forget House Representative 4th Hampton District Kelly Pease and his protege, Riley Pease. All right, a couple other thank yous I want to get, uh, I don't want to say get out of the way, that's not the right way to say it, I want to say it that way. I'd like to personally thank Frank, uh, Franny Kane. Um, Franny Kane has been doing a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure that the park is ready to go. As you can see, it is freshly mown and yet manicured, and I want to say thank you for that. I'd also like to say thank you to Leo Goncalves, who is not here today. Anybody know who Leo is? He's the nut on the cement mixer. Yeah, that's Leo. Leo's kind of getting things done. He's the one that did all the curbing. They put down the, uh, the pavement. They put in all the cement and in, on the groundwork. This project was made possible by $1.3 million of ARPA spending. Um, the only promise I kind of made to myself, believe it or not, this was kind of uh, my idea from the start, I guess, was that I was going to fill in the 37-year hole. So this is what we have. The idea behind this field that you see is that we would like to attract people, walking people, into the district so that they could take care, uh, take advantage of all the fine eateries and the fine establishments that you are now starting to see fill up the place. Where are you, Tribeca? I see you over there. Tribeca's out there. They tell me you're going to be open in six weeks. I don't. Six weeks. I keep hearing it, six weeks. The hangar's here, Vlad's Pizza's over there. We see you, Vlad. Vlad, have a good night, Vlad. And my friends over here from the Northside Creamery, try the Fluffernut or the peanut butter ice cream is wonderful. And don't forget, I see the hot dog man over there. We know you're over there, we got you. So I'm gonna turn it over if I don't, if I make sure I haven't missed anybody. 
And I don't, oh yes, one more. Robbie Levesque, is Robbie here tonight? If he's not here, I just want to thank him. He's the guy that put up with all my change orders and all the little fixes that we had going on. He's from RLA uh, Associates, which is the land site planner. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Kathy Watalich, Westfield Redevelopment Authority. Thank you, thank you. This is pretty good. It's stopping an hour's worth of speeches, Mr. Mayor. I thank you, thank you. So I'm going to try and keep it brief also. I just want to say I am so, so proud to be standing here and helping with this ribbon cutting ceremony to officially open the Elm Street Plaza. With the dedication of the Westfield Redevelopment of members, Tom Woodson, a step forward, Bill Park, Mark Warren, if you're out there, come on up, and our Community Development Director, Peter Miller, who has been an outstanding asset to this organization. And without, you know, our superior direction from our mayor, Michael McCabe, and his brilliance and his ideas, uh, this would not have been able to be made possible. So thank you, Mayor. We now have an open green space with ample parking, well-lit area for the citizens of Westfield to utilize, enjoy, and be proud of. So we thank you all for coming out. We hope you enjoy this. And now we'll probably start with the ribbon cutting ceremony. So let's get this party started. So, WRA members, why don't you come right up in front? Right, actually come down off the curb and come right up in the front. Westfield City Council, you want to come up? Are there any members of the Off Street Parking Commission here? Just double check it. All right, so this is a once in a lifetime event for us. So really, if you feel like you want to be part of this ribbon company, this is for you. You can also come up here and stand up here in line and do the cut with us. So we're going to try for camera's sake. We're going to do a count. It's going to be five down to cut. Five, four, three, two, one, cut. Did you get it? Five, four, three, two, one, cut. Where's the scissors? Hold on, hold on. The timing, the timing, no pressure. Hold on, hold on, I got a pocket here. Anybody else want to have some scissors? Five, four, three, zero, two, zero. I want to introduce you to somebody, Franny Kane. Can you walk over here a second? Without Fran Kane, a lot of stuff in the city just plain and simply doesn't get done. He's the acting superintendent of the DPW, and he's primarily responsible for the maintenance of the grounds. He had his folks out here in Mass over the last week and a half, and I just wanted him to be recognized and say thank you to Fran. And now one of my own personal favorites, timeliness is next to godliness. So I'm going to introduce to you the Whiskey Travelers. Handling the sound duties, Debbie Dion. I'm going to cheer. I get huh? On guitar, Bernie Dion. None other than Harrison Stefano. We have vocalist Jesse Dion. Guitarist John Dion. And working on the vocals. We've got our vocals here, right? And hold on a second. And don't forget Peter Avarisi behind me. Here you go, Jess.
I, I took the wrong instrument. All right, we're real honored to be here. On the opening night, we are Whiskey Traveler out of Westfield, Massachusetts. We did not travel while drinking whiskey. And we, we don't come to I didn't travel that far. Five minutes down the road.
Oh, gosh. One of these days, we're going to get this intro down. We're supposed to go right into uh, it. Okay. Should we start that again? Do y'all know what time it is? I'd say it's five o'clock somewhere. Come along, guys. <laughs>